Oh, hello there. Is this Paxton? Yeah, we don't know what the hell happened. I got here and Ivy was here with Kerrigan. And they found him inside like that. Uh, Is he talking? Well. Is he, or just out cold? Mm -hmm. uh, just out. Well, when we when we saw him inside, uh, we brought him out here. But when we saw him inside, he had blood coming from his chest. Hmm. But he hasn't said a word or made a noise? No, not really. Not even a grunt. Well, looks like there's some there's a wound here on his stomach. Let me see if I can get him patched up before I wake him up. Make sure he doesn't have to be awake for this. Ooh. Looks like there might be a stab in here. I don't know from what. Maybe after I take care of him, he can tell us what happened. Yeah, well, when I when I got here, the door was open, and he was, like, right inside the door. So, I don't know, yeah, somebody like right stabbed the him window. the window or something? I don't know. Maybe somebody did this to him. Possibly. Let me get this area cleaned off here. Come on, Paxton. Well, it seems like it's just a straight in and out knife wound. There's no real tearing. Just a straight puncture. So I should be able to seal this up okay. Well, there's nothing oh, for it inside. All right, let me go ahead and get him stitched up. Well, they only need three stitches. Whatever this was, it was a small instrument. Oh. Yeah. Sounds promising. That's good. You're gonna make it, buddy. Sorry. And the wound doesn't stink, which is good. Stomachs, you know, wounds to the stomach. If it starts to stink, then uh, that means he's he's uh, his stomach juices are infecting it. Oh, Ooh. that sounds painful. Yeah. yeah. Usually, oh. if 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 you if the wound starts to stink like that, there's a great chance that he's already got sepsis. So does oh, this mean no. like nothing internal was punctured, maybe? Well, I mean, he was punctured, but I don't think it it nicked any of his uh, any of his glands. Okay. All right, let me just get this covered up with a little bit of a poultice, and then I will wrap it in a bandage. All right, let's get him on his feet and see if he can tell us anything. Oh, yeah. thank God! Oh my yeah. goodness! Ah, Paxton's. What happened to your stomach? Uh, honestly, uh, Jesus. Uh, last last thing I remember is I was walking up my steps. You know, I, I just I just freshly picked a potato. And it looked really good, so I, I pulled out my knife and I started going up the steps a little bit, and I tripped, and I just got this sharp pain in my stomach that just just made me fall asleep. Huh. Well, I wonder where you dropped your knife, then. I don't know. It wasn't still stuck in you. I really don't know. I might check the floorboards. Uh, uh, but, but, but you must have, you must have crawled inside, because when we saw you, you were inside, just inside the, the door. Maybe check in there. Yeah, that might, might have been be on uh, lizard brain, just reflex at that point. Right. Um, uh, yeah. Just crawling to, to whatever he, that could maybe save him, I guess. Or for shelter. I mean, if you're unsure of what's going on, yes. Um, yeah, I found it. I found it. Oh, it was right oh, next to the cool. door here. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Maybe if we'd inspected uh, the scene, we could have figured that out. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I got Oh, you know, the sad part of this oh, is where's that buddy? potato? That was a really nice potato, and I was peeling it to eat it. Uh, That's the sad do, part. Do, do, do you think... I, I really think I tripped and fell on a knife to me out, uh, at this point. Jesus Christ. This this hurts. Well, I hope your potato hasn't browned yet. I gotta find it. Oh, God. I gotta... It rode somewhere. Uh. Here, potato. Well, uh, well those, uh, <laughs> those gut wounds, you do have to watch out for those. It wasn't stinky, so I don't think you nicked anything vital. But, um... That's a central area that you have a lot of movement in. So if you can, try not to do anything crazy for at least the next sundown. Don't want you to tear your stitches and end up reopening that. Oh, oh I think here it is. Yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, that would oh, not be morning. good. What's the throne it? 
Your little roly-poly spud was over in the grass. Oh. Yeah, it's over here. You must have thrown <laughs> oh, it when you fell. I don't necessarily eat that is, anymore, though. Uh, why does it hurt so bad to walk? My Money legs ain't one. injured. Oh, Jesus potatoes Christ. have a way of absorbing stuff. Jesus. Right here. You might, you might oh, want a yeah. new one now. Oh, See? No, there's an awful lot of blood on that at this point. Yeah. Mm -mm. Nope. That potato's gone. That was that was that was a bad room potato. Good. Damn it. Are you okay? Potatoes are, potatoes are very absorbent. You might not have a good flavor anymore. Yeah. Is it yeah. possible that he lost his ability to speak? I might just be heartbroken. That was can, a good can, tater. Can you? Can, could you not hear me? No. no. Can't oh, no. Oh Jesus Christ! How, how long? How long have I been silent? Have I just been yelling in my head? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe you should have a lie down. I, th I think so. I th I th Jesus Christ! Oh, my yeah, that potato's ruined. There was a lot of blood on it. Yeah. Do you have any other symptoms? Like the memory loss does concern me a little bit. Well, I, I remember falling down. And like I got, like I felt the the worst pain in my belly I've ever felt, and I just I just, I just passed out. Well, I mean the whole screaming inside your head thing. Do you have any other strange symptoms? Oh, you, you vision. Make a point. I, I feel kind of feverish. Like I feel like you know, like have you ever like stood there and your head just like just like warm, warm, yeah, but like do, it, it feels like it's like little... swell. Yeah, you do have a little bit of a flop sweat. This might be the shock wearing off. Oh jeez. Yeah, I bet I bet these are your endorphins. Your your body chemistry is finally returning to normal, and uh, so now you're kind of crashing a little bit. Oh man, is that bad? No, not really. It happens just after a great big injury. You have your your body's flight or fight your fight or flight, and then once that wears off, you just it's just kind of like a sugar rush coming down. Oh damn, damn. You'll be okay. You might just need to take it easy for a bit. What, what what about this this sore in my stomach? Do do I do you I think I, I do, you, do you think I need to get that checked out or do you think it'd be all right? Well, you only needed a few stitches. It was a nice clean knife wound, um, and there was no strange smell or temperature to it. So I would just keep an eye on it. Um, you know, at, at least every night, peel back the bandages. Actually, change the bandages every night if you can. But okay. uh, you know, look for strange colors. You know, reds and browns are okay. That's just more blood. If it's excessive, that's a problem. But anything other than reds or browns, then uh, it might be pus, or it might be that you did, in fact, nick something that's just hasn't been leaking yet. Okay. Uh, well, question. Now, how often should he bathe with that? That's well, a great question. For with that wound. Well, that adds well, a question, but I do have another question. But yes, yeah, yeah. How often should I be taking a bath now? Because I, you know, usually I skip out and go like once a month. And he bathes in the river or in the creek. So. Well, um, usually that shouldn't be a problem, but um, you know what? If you just give a put a layer of petroleum jelly over the top, it should be okay. That should seal it up nicely. Okay, that adds a question to the question I was already wanting to know. First question, what is pus? Pus is your body's natural defense. Um, it's what fills pimples and wounds and things like that. It's what makes it all puffy and um, red. But uh, it's the yellow, kind of creamy, gross stuff that leaks out of infected wounds. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I know what you're talking about. I get these weird bumps in my face sometimes. Like, I squeezed one, and it shot across the room and hit the wall. It was amazing. Yep, those are small amounts of pus. They can come out of anywhere okay. that's got an infection. And those uh, spots on your face are technically surface infections, like, like bacteria infecting your, your skin pores. Hmm. If you want to uh, keep that from happening, uh, when every time you bathe, give your face a really good scrub with something coarse, like a, like a coarse cloth. Okay. All right. You can also use small amounts of oil, like peppermint or something like that. All right. Newly know that answers uh, first question. Second question, what is petroleum jelly? Is that what you call it? Petroleum jelly. Uh, they make okay, it at petroleum. the Cornwall place to the west. Okay, what, uh, what gives that do? Oh, it's, it's just a paste. 
Um, okay. I use I use it whenever I'm treating wounds, uh, like out by the swamps, to make sure that the wounds are sealed nice and tight. They don't get any water or anything else in them. Okay. All right. Duly noted. It's just basically a lubricant. All right. I think so you got this. put some. So put some on your tummy uh, before you do anything involving water. All right. Um, and you said I could get that where? Well, they make it at the Cornwall place, but here, I'll just hand you a jar. Oh, yes, yes, please, please. Now, do, oh. do, you, do you doctors sell this stuff? Nope. Okay, all right. All do right. you need any uh, any bandages? Uh, yeah, maybe one or two, you know, just to get me through the day. I'll probably come and see you, like, in a day or two and let you check out this one, because I'm really, I'm really scared. I've never felt a pain like that in my life. I think I'm afraid there's something else going on. And it really hurts to walk. Like my legs ain't my legs ain't fucked up, but every time I try to take a step, it just feels like there's sharp pain. Yeah, gut gut wounds will do that. It's right in the core of you, so you put a lot of weight on it just by standing. So you might want to take the weight off for a bit, especially while you're um, coming down from your endorphins. I mean, you might start feeling a little weak in the knees. Oh, jeez, I mean, yeah, I don't want that. You know, last thing I want is to fall again while trying to peel a damn potato. Jesus Christ! And like that. Jeez. You know, the, the, I'm still upset. Like that was the best looking potato I ever seen in my life. It looked like, really plump and juicy. And you know, I get fucking stabbed. I stab myself for, like trying to fucking peel the some bitch. Well, that's unfortunate. Potato gun. Well, you might. Now you might need to eat and drink something uh, that can help with the endorphin rush. Get your blood sugar back up. No, okay. You, I don't know you, if you, you can find any more taters. <laughs> oh, I got a plenty of them in the house. You think that'd work? Yeah, the, those carbs should help get your blood sugar back up. Okay, well I ain't pilling these. Like they're they're just going. I'm just going to eat one of them like an apple. Think that'd help. The skin is nutritious, even if it tastes it like is. dirt. Well, I mean, it gives it flavor. To be honest, like you, know, you can you could wash off a potato. I can go over here in the water and wash it off. You know, you just got that nice potato skin taste, but. The best thing you want is, you know, you want a fresh potato just dug up out of the ground, because that dirt, mm, gives it just like a special flavor. Well, I'll agree to disagree on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, mean, yeah. Get, I mean, have you tried it? You can't... Uh, like, I would try no, it maybe without dirt. I have but... ate enough dirt against my will in order to... <laughs> I, I can okay. reference. I... Ow. Uh, but have, have you ever tried it? Yes. No. Not on purpose, but yes. Well, I mean, like, you know, not 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 like a muddy potato. You got, you got to wipe off the excess, but just biting into a potato you just freshly picked up out of the ground. It's got dirt on it still. Have you ever tried it? Yeah, uh, just by accident because I forgot that I was washing them and I missed one and didn't realize it till it was too late. It was delicious, wasn't it? Nope. <laughs> really? It really? Grit, it was gritty and mealy. Yeah, I like the grittiness to it. Like, you know, it gives like a really starchy, gritty flavor to it. It's just really good. And it's not good on the teeth, though. I've, like, I've cracked a tooth off the dirt, you know, the grains in it here and there. But, you well, know. You've probably got a rock in the dirt, maybe. I was going to say, it sounds like you bit into a rock. I yeah. think so. <laughs> yeah, you probably yeah. should start washing them off. I mean, unless you're talking sweet potatoes or yams, those can be pretty hard out of the ground. You know, I'm not a big fan of sweet potatoes. They're weird colored, and they're just like, mm, something about them. <laughs> I like them just fine. They're just a little bit harder to prep. They're harder on the inside. Well, they kind of remind me of a reverse carrot. Like, I just don't like it. <laughs> what? A reverse carrot? <laughs> Wouldn't that be a ginger yeah. person? No. I don't know what a reverse carrot is. <laughs> Show me there. I think you've invented a new word. <laughs> you want to elaborate, Paxton? Give me a second. <laughs> uh, I think we have another symptom for you, Doc. I think he's delusional. I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary yet. Okay. Oh, you're oh, thinking I'm going to fill up my canteen. Look at that sunset. <laughs> oh, is that beautiful or what? The perfect spot for this house. It is. It's so pretty right here. 
Heartland has some of the best sunsets. <laughs> oh, don't. Oh, bad touch. Flex oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. Let me back up. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm so kind sorry. Kind of zoned out there. Ooh. Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. I was just trying to look at the sunset, and I don't know what happened. It, it, I got really excited. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, it, it is stirring. No. <laughs> Overflow's not deep enough to fill my canteen. Oh, you have to go out a little bit deeper. Yeah, come yeah. on this way. Yeah, yeah. I think this injury's getting to me. I think I'm being a little weird. Being yeah, a little loopy. what the fuck is a reverse carrot, Paxton? You know, honestly, as soon as I said that, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a green fruit with, like, orange le like no, leaves? It's, no, it's, 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 it's like... <laughs> Brown on the outside, but orange on the inside. I don't know why I said it. What? How does brown on the outside work? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 brown. Yeah, no. You no, know, Doc, I, I, think I, I think this injury is fucking with me, because, like, I don't know why I said reverse carrot. Neither do I. 